from five meters above sea level. It is scary high. Well, while you're here, make sure you go take a look at it. It's pretty interesting. On the left, here's a bronze sculpture, our city's favorite Canadian. It's JB, not Justin Bieber, so I get excited. On the left, Jean-Baptiste, the founder of New Orleans, placed to celebrate our sesquicentennial, our 150th, which was 150 years ago. <laughs> About 300 years ago, kind of a big deal. On the right, there's a the Steamboat Natchez. Now, normally, you can't read the letters that say Natchez. Normally, you don't see the paddle wheel on the back either. The river is really, really high. Um, it's weird to have the river so high right now because y'all know it technically it's still winter. I mean, at least for a couple more days. But normally we don't see this, especially not even this high, until uh, mid-spring. So the river is really high really early this year. They say it's going to be at flood stage for, another, for two more weeks, too. Now, we are in the French Quarter, pretty much the middle of it. Funny thing about the French Quarter, the architecture ain't French. This city burned, 1788, 1794. Between the fires, only two buildings left up. The government in control at the time would rebuild. What we see today, you know who rebuilt this? Spain. First building codes? Spanish. The galleries, the balconies? Spanish. The first iron brought to New Orleans came from Madrid. The most prominent architectural style here? Spanish colonial, not French. On the left, here comes the French Quarters French Square. Y'all know the French Quarters French Square probably by its great French name, right? On the left, this is? The French Square is? Jackson Square. Jackson Square. Wait a minute. The French Square is named for an American, and the American Square is named for Frenchman. We're not going to think too hard about that. On the left, this is Jackson Square. Right in the middle on horseback is General Jackson himself. His horse is Old Duke. Behind him in the middle is St. Louis Cathedral, the oldest continually operating Catholic cathedral in the U.S. On the left is the Cabildo, capital for government for the entire colony. On the right is the Presbyter, or Priest House. This is it, the center of government, military, and the church. They renamed it for Jackson for stopping the British invasion and ending the War of 1812 here. On the right, that crazy long line is for Café du Monde, the oldest coffee shop in the state, 1862, best known for serving our state's official donut, the beignet. Beignet means donut, by the way, and beignets always taste better if you're wearing black or navy blue. Strange, I know. Oh, yeah, On the left, two jacks, the oldest standing bar in the country. On the right, the French market, the oldest continually open air market in the U.S. The, Na the Native Americans were trading here at least 600 years before the French ever showed up. The Spanish put the roof on it, so of course we call it the uh, French market. On the left, Central Grocery gave us our other sandwich, the muffalata, which is Sicilian bread, mortadella, olive salad, provolone, and salami. That's good stuff, too. They were from uh, Palermo, Italy. On the left, here's the gilded sculpture of Jeanne d'Arc. Jeanne d'Arc is the maiden, the saint of Orleans, France. Her, birth, her birthday is January 6th, by the way. It's the first day of carnival season, and every year, the first carnival parade, January 6th, is the crew of Jeanne d'Arc to celebrate her birthday, the unofficial saint of New Orleans. 